Hi, Aries, welcome to my channel. This is your reading for the next week. Let's see. What do we have for you, Aries? A quick message. It's a general reading, so take us his resume and leave the rest. Aries, I do offer personal reading. If you are interested, check the description box below. Your first card, Aries, is release. You need to let go of something, time for you to release what is not serving you anymore. You need to choose yourself first, Aries. It's like a transformation in your life. Let's see. I see you growing, trying new things. Your energy is showing up. It's a new cycle. Aries energy. Go for it. You have your power back. You are in control. And this time, Aries. Let's see. What do you need to focus for the next week? Okay, we have the lovers. You're going to make a choice about your love life. For some of you, you're dealing with a Gemini, Aries. Feel like this person is very different from you. You can be talking about someone from another country, but there is passion and attraction between you two, Aries. What you don't see coming, it's a change here with the Wheel of Fortune. Your animal spirit for the next week. Okay, feel like a change about your job, your career. You have an idea, something strategic, a plan here. Or oh, it's talking about the business with the fox cards. Stay focused on your goal, your objective. What's going on here? We have passwords. You can see there is butterfly here. You need to know that you are on the right path, transforming your life for better areas. Do you need to know? We have abundance showing up. It's like the Empress cards. Just for some of you, because it's like the Empress, so there is an opportunity to get pregnant for some of you. Message for Aries. Okay. We have some hey, Very good energy. And say hi. I feel like you have psychic abilities. You are very intuitive. Aries, trust your intuition to make an important decision. And with a hug, success assured with good plans and hard work. Okay, it's about working, about a project, an idea, business here. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Three cards about your love life, Aries. What do we have? We have the Six of Cups. It's telling me that it's a past life connection between you and someone. I feel like you already know this person, Aries. Someone from your past, you have memories with this person. Okay? The universe is gifting you what you really want with the Nine of Cups. 
And with the three of wands, you're going to make an important decision about your future. Okay, about relationship here. For some of you, you're dealing with someone at the distance. The wait is over. This person is going to take action toward you, Aries. Let's see. With the six of cups. What's going on here? Definitely, I can see a lot of sexual attraction between you and this person. Maybe it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, or a Capricorn, I feel like. Okay? I see you making a difficult decision here with the Two of Swords. Now you can see the truth about this connection. And with the Six of Pentacles, what you really want is to have balance in your life, equal give and take in relationship. For some of you, you're going to receive a gift from this person, Aries. You don't want to wait anymore. Let's see what's going on with the three of wands. We have the sun. It's time for you to be happy. Strong Leo energy coming for you here. The sun is the best card in the tower deck. Represent love, joy, happiness coming for you. What's going on here? For some of you, you're dealing with a father figure or an entrepreneur, okay? It's a strong father energy, someone working really hard to take care of his family. This person is going to protect you, to help you, someone very supportive, okay? You are in control to make an important decision. It's like a crossword in your life. For some of you, it's talking about a relocation, okay? Because with the three of wands, you're making a decision for the future at a distance here. Moving, traveling. It's like you're ready for a fresh start in your life areas. Let's see, it's about destiny. Making a sacrifice. You are taking a risk here. Very positive reading. Let's see about money, career, and finances. What do we have for you? I can see a change with a fox here. Something significant about your job. What's going on? A message for areas. Queen of Wands, Temperance, and Ace of Wands. It's about a new job, a new idea, a new business. Okay, something creative, a passion you have. With the Queen of Wands, you're something you are very good at. You are very confident, bold, assertive about this project, this idea, areas. And with Temperance, it's you finding a solution. Okay. Transforming all negativity in positivity. You're not giving up here. Very good energy areas. It's also talking about the perfect timing. So Queen of Wands. We have the King of Wands. Can be talking about a partnership. You and someone have the same idea, the same point of view, okay? I see you collaborating with someone here, masculine energy. Stamp runs. We have the six of swords. 
period of transition, okay, it's you moving, taking a job offer at a distance. You can see it. You are leaving everything behind, moving a car models. It's like a new destination in your career. For some of you, you're going to travel because of your job areas. Another ace of front is a new contract, a new job. Something new is coming here. Something you've been wishing for. Areas with a star. Let's see. Definitely there is a masculine energy around you in your career. A boss, maybe. This person is here for you to help you. I'm going to receive some good news. It's a messenger. For a message from a colleague of yours here, from this person. It's about a reunion, an important meeting, or a job interview here. Something you've been wishing for, it's about something new, a new job, I feel like. Areas, okay? An advice for you. What do we have for areas? So next week, yeah. Whoops, too many cars, but I see you with the Queen of Swords. It's like a job interview here. Time for you to use your mind, to be confident, to believe in yourself. You're someone very intelligent areas. Good in your job. Good in communication also. And someone very honest. Your advice is yeah, the page of thoughts. I see you learning new skills, like a student here. Don't be afraid to try something different. It's like a new idea here, okay? What you don't see coming, we have the King of Cups, the King of Love. I feel like there is someone around you with feelings for you. A water sign, maybe. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, okay? It's like your best friend. You already know this person. And there is also passion between you and this person, Aries. Aries, this is your reading. Thank you so much for watching, being here. Take care. Bye.